In a farewell to arms, Ernest Hemingway wrote, The world breaks everyone, and afterward many are strong in the broken places, but those that will not break, it kills. It kills the very good and the very gentle and the very brave impartially. If you are none of these, you can be sure it will kill you too, but there will be no special hurry. It doesn't matter how positive you are or how hard you want something, reality will eventually catch up with you and break you. It's portrayed as a fact of life. Nobody remains the starry-eyed kid they once were with the illusion of how grand life is. Because the world eventually tells us, quite harshly, that life sometimes can be cruel. In the second part of the quote, he further explains that if you don't accept these broken pieces of you, it will eventually kill your soul no matter how good or brave you are. Let us keep Hemingway aside for some time. It is believed in the 15th century, military ruler in Japan, Ashikaga Yoshimasa, sent one of his favorite tea bowls back to China to be repaired. When it was returned, he was disappointed with the finished result and asked local craftsmen to find a more aesthetically pleasing method of repair. What they came up with was something known as Kintsugi. Kintsugi is the traditional way of ceramic repair where kin means golden and sugi is for joinery. So it literally means to join with gold. Lacquer produced from the sap of indigenous Japanese tree known as urushi is used to join the broken pieces of ceramic. After drying, it is dusted with gold powder. The roots of kintsugi can be traced back to the Japanese philosophy of wabi-sabi, which involves appreciating the beauty of imperfection. Contrary to western philosophy where beauty is seen in the form of symmetry and perfection. In kintsugi, the breaking of an object does not signify its ending, but rather a new beautiful beginning, where the fact that the object was broken at a certain point along its course of history is not tried to be kept hidden, but rather glorified with the golden plating, giving us a sense that even though life can be cruel at times and break us, it is our these broken pieces that make us what we are. The scars that we carry in the form of negative or traumatic events show pain and suffering, but they also show our will to survive. They are part of our history that will always be there. And only once when we accept these broken pieces, we can create something new. It reminds me of this conversation between Po and Shen. How did you? How did you do it? You know, you just keep your elbows up and keep the shoulders loose. Not that. How did you find peace? I took away your parents. Everything. I, I scarred you for life. See, that's the thing, Shen. Scars heal. No, they don't. Wounds heal. Oh yeah, what do scars do? They fade, I guess? I don't care what scars do. You should, Shen. You gotta let go of that stuff from the past, because it just doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to be now. You're right. Now, coming back to where we started. I think that's why Hemingway left us a glimpse of hope in these pessimistic lines. That even though life can break us, Many are strong at these broken places. And if we don't embrace these broken pieces of us, like Kintsugi, it will eventually kill our soul and mark its end, just like the broken ceramic. Looks like the winds are changing. Ah, uh, change is good. Yeah, but it's not easy. I know what I have to do, but going back means I'll have to face my past. I've been running from it for so long. Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> yeah, but it still hurts. Oh, yes, the past can hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Ah! You see? So what are you going to do? First, I'm going to take your stick. No, 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 no! Not your stick! Hey! Where are you going? 
I'm going back! I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah